happening today, the vaccine mandate is now lifted for New York City employees. And with the change comes a call from police and firefighters unions to let members who refuse to get vaccinated return to work. CBS News Elijah Westbrook live at City Hall in Lower Manhattan. Elijah, how many city workers actually lost their jobs due to that mandate? Well, Mary and Chris, I can tell you nearly 2,000 city workers lost their jobs because of the initial mandate. But as you mentioned, now that it has been lifted starting today, some are looking at this as a milestone. But we should mention it does not guarantee their jobs back. Getting the COVID vaccine for city workers is now optional. It's a political controversy that was especially highlighted when Mayor Adams took office. Responding to pressure to get the city economy up and running, Adams made the shot optional for those who worked for private employers. Then in March of last year, he lifted the mandate for pro athletes. Police and firefighter unions sued, saying public employees were unfairly singled out. But now they're fighting for another reason. We're suing to have uh, back pay for all the members that were put on leave without pay. One of the uh, litigations is that uh, it was illegal, it was a punishment, and it, they, weren't due, they weren't given due process. Also weighing in is the city's police union. In a statement said in part, quote, the job is only half done. We call on the city to ensure that our members who were fired or had their employment unfairly impacted are reinstated with back pay and without condition. Dr. Martine Hackett, a public health researcher with Hofstra University, says the decision to drop the mandate is a reflection that we have left the emergency phase of the pandemic, but still recommends getting the initial shot followed by a booster. I think the bivalent booster is absolutely necessary. Um, it's um, really quite surprising the low uh, uptake in the entire population of um, this important addition to protection against coronavirus. And this new decision also impacts guests who visit city public schools. The DOE says it will no longer require proof of vaccination when entering their buildings. But live right now in Lower Manhattan, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.